Alright lads, how are we all doing? Right, in today's video I've got a bit of a plan. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but we're going to give it a go anyway. Uh, so let me just walk over to my car and I'll quickly show you what I'm going to do. Alright lads, so the plan is today is to take the spoiler off the Civic and paint it black. So I've got some of that plastic dip and then I realised I haven't ordered actually enough plastic dip to do my wheels because the plan for today was going to be to do the wheels. But I'm going to Amsterdam next week, so what I'm going to do then is while I'm in Amsterdam I'm going to order some paint so that is there for when I get back home. And then hopefully we get some good weather when I'm back and then I'll paint the wheels on the Civic. So uh, I'm just going to go get my tools, set the camera up and then let's try and get the spoiler off. Just before we get into it guys... Look what note my dad left me. He's gone away for two weeks, he works offshore, so he's currently away for two weeks. And he knows I usually shed quite a lot for making videos, so he's left me a nice, lovely note. So guys, if you can't read, what it says is, Fuck off, Jake, do not move, you wanker. Which is a nice message left from my dad, and basically, he's just making some, um, I don't even know, I think he's making shelves for the house, and he's painted it like he doesn't want me touching it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get some tools, set the camera up like I said, and then, uh, yeah, let's just take the spoiler off if we can. Right, lads, quick disclaimer. I don't actually know what I'm doing. I'm just winging it at this point. I know that I've got to take this off and this off to get to the, the bolts up here to get it off. Now, it's going to be like a massive waste of time because I've got to put it back on and then take it back off again because I'm doing my window wiper delete tomorrow. But that's going to be a how-to and I want to show you how to do it all the way through. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to crack on. I think you have to start from the bottom, then the sides, and then the top. Hopefully I don't break anything. Let's just get into it. Now, right, first thing I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to take the, the brake light off and see what we're working with behind there. So, I'm going to get my socket set and sort that out. Alright, lads, spoilers off. I'll just quickly show you what it looks like. Actually, no, I can't because of that. I'll quickly show you what it looks like about a spoiler on. Yeah, don't look nice. So, basically, guys, all it was is I took this off by just pulling it out on there. There was two, there was two bolts behind here, one there, one there. And then there was one on the side, all 10mm sockets. So it's pretty straightforward to be honest with you guys. Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop this in the shed, clean it all off, show you all that, do a bit of spraying, and then jump in the shower because I smell that shit because I've just literally just got back from work. So uh, let's get into it, guys. Right, guys, so I'm trying to shoot a video and uh, Max just popped in to say hello. Smoke my eggs. Obviously, a bit camera shy. Literally, just popped in to smoke my eggs. Or so I was just like, what's this? So uh, yeah guys, I've prepped now, what I need to do is put a spoiler on there, clean it off, I'll show you all that. Uh, but I'll put this down so that uh, I don't get paint anywhere in the shed. Let's just see if it fits on alright. Which it does. For the record guys, the only reason why I'm painting this spoiler is because I want something a bit new. Sorry. The reason is I'm painting this spoiler guys is because I want something a bit new. I don't want to buy a new spoiler for it because I kind of like this one. I was going to buy one, I'd buy a Mugen one. And I just can't really afford it at the moment of all the Amsterdam stuff. And then I'm going, yeah, I'm going to Amsterdam and then I'm saving up for a new car and all this sort of stuff. So, and literally, guys, the reason is I do these videos is just because I love working on my car so much. I love the experience. I love looking at something after I've done it myself, if you get what I mean. So, uh, yeah, guys, I'm just going to quickly clean this off. I'm going to clean it off with panel wipe. Clean it all off. Wipe it all down because it's the most important thing to do when painting is to make sure it's clean so that the paint doesn't have any lumps in it or anything like that. So I'm going to clean the spoiler off guys and then uh, we're going to get into the paint. Right guys, so I've cleaned off the spoiler. And the product we're going to be using today is Plasti Dip. Now I love Plasti Dip to bits only for the reason that is you can peel it off. So if you do want to paint your car in any way, I do recommend Plasti Dip in it if you want to do any like panels or anything like that. Plasti Dip's always the best plus it's a, a matte black finish. And then I have some Halford satin black finish, which is really good as well. Yeah, I only bought one of these and it's 400 mil and it was literally like nine pound a day cheap. So if I do my tyres, I need to recommend to buy three cans. It normally takes about two and a half, but you've always got a bit extra. And yeah, it's, I, I just think it's dead good because if you don't want it, or say if this turns out shit and I would ended up don't liking it, I'll just peel it off. It'll be easy as that. So anyway, guys, let's put the first coat on. I'm just going to put me down a sec. 
when using plaster dip guys make sure you spray it um, make sure you shake it as much as you can um, due to the fact is if you don't spray it then it literally just comes out as this horrible like oily stuff and it just like drips down you don't want drips in your paint so shake it as much as you can and make sure you test it as well I'll show you that I've done a video on this completely separate uh, you can check it out on my channel somewhere de um, debadge the car and respray this so I'm just going to shake this up guys a bit more test it out and then we're going to put our first coat on now I know I now, I know I said that when I was shaking the can, so I don't know if you're struggling to hear me. I've been shaking the can for a bit now, so I'm literally just going to chest it. Need to shake it up a bit more. This is what I'm on about, this horrible, gloopy shit. You need to make sure you proper shake the can. Right, I'm going to stop talking, shake the can. Right, guys, so it's looking a lot better, as you can see. Now, with the first coat that you do on a uh, on a party, always put a dust coat on first, then I recommend leaving it for 15 to 20 minutes, then putting another coat on. So, I'm going to quickly put a one coat on now, jump in the shower, another coat on. I think we've got about three or four coats on then put it back on the car so let's get into it. Right lads, for some reason, weird reason, the plastic it won't work so I'm using the Halford stuff which I nearly ran out of actually. Um, yeah and then I've used that and I've uh, put the first coat on. So what I'm going to do now is going to come back in 15 minutes after I've had a shower and all that stuff and then we'll see how it's going from there. Right lads, it's been 15 minutes late and this is how it's looking. Now I know it's not looking the best and what I am going to tell you guys is that I am no professional. Will you shut the fuck up? What are you barking at? So anyway guys, what I was saying is I'm not a professional in any way, I'm just winging it. Oh, I found out as well why my plastic dip isn't working. Um, I haven't had the lid on it for a few days, so uh, yeah, it's all dried up. Because basically what plastic dip is, guys, is it's basically a paint that turns into rubber, so you can peel it off. So anyway guys, I'm going to put the next three layers on now, off camera, because you've seen how I sprayed it. I'm not a professional, so you can't learn anything from this anyway, because I'm learning myself as I'm going along. I'm going to put these three coats on and then we're going to whack it back on the car so uh, I'll see you in a bit. So guys I'm back and the paint is finally settled and dried. I did put four coats on it. I came back every 20 minutes to put a new coat on and I left the final coat for 40 minutes. So this is how it's looking now. I know it's not the best job in the world but it's not too bad. I've just been editing the first part of this video. I've noticed it's about seven minutes long now. So what I'm going to do guys, I'm just going to quickly cut to when I've got it on the car. I'm going to pop it on now. Uh, and then we'll end the video off. So guys, as you can see, everything is back in place. I put all this back in. Put the spoiler on. All that's back in, so let's take a look at the spoiler. I think that looks so much better. Let me, go, let me know what you guys think of the spoiler, guys. Anyway, I'm going to end the video off there. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like on the video. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.